What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm actually really excited to make this. We're gonna be installing a two post lift. So you can see we actually got one post up because we tried using the tractor and we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to use it, if it would lift it up tall enough. So we got one up. I'm gonna show you around what we got and we're gonna finish getting the second side set up and hopefully the brace across the top. So this is a 9,000 pound forward two post lift. It's probably like 10 years old, it's pretty dirty. You can see like hydraulic fluid all over it and stuff, but we're gonna clean it up. It's gonna work perfect in here. We'll put new pads on it and stuff. All right guys, this is the anchor kit that I bought. It was about $70. So you can see these are three quarter wedge anchors. It also came with a bunch of shims. So you got different thicknesses here. So these are plastic. You don't wanna use wood shims because it'll rot. Um, this side over here, since the concrete sloped a little bit, we did have to use a couple of the blue shims. We'll probably have to do the same on the other side, but it's really important to get these perfectly level. All right, and now we have an SO cord that we're gonna drop down from the ceiling. Now, when we were planning building this shop, we poured the concrete right here deeper. I actually ran a box up to the top with power in it, already landed on a breaker in the panel. So all we're gonna have to do is use a CGB. We'll drop the cord down right on top of the lift. It lines up perfectly, wired up. This is a 240 volt, 16 amp, two post lift. So let's get set up. We'll get the strap wrapped around it. We'll choke it and we'll lift it up and see if we can't get the second one set up. So after a while, me and Mason were able to get the first post up. We leaked hydraulic fluid all over the shop floor, had it backwards at first, but we eventually got it up. We put in a few of these anchor bolts and started leveling it up. And then we're gonna skip forward to a few days when we get the second post stood up and the top brace. Here you can see me and my friend Mark setting up the second post and the top brace. And then we're gonna work on getting the motor on, the arms on. We got a bunch of cables we need to connect between the two posts. So we're gonna work on that in the next couple days. All right guys, we're gonna set up the power cable. So we got some three wire 10 gauge and a CGB mounted to the cover plate. So we're gonna strip this back, get it put on here with the CGB and go hang it from the ceiling.
All right, well, we got the cable drop now. Now there's a few lines that we got to take from post to post. So we have two steel cables. They go down, wrap around some pulleys right there. And then they kind of bolt into this right here. So every lift's going to be different, obviously, but this will kind of just be the basics. And then you have this little cable right here. This is basically just attached up there and you string it across the top down a pulley and it hits on this or it lands right here on the switch. And then that way, if your vehicle gets too high, it pushes this and pulls this and it stops the motor from going. And then you'll see we got a couple hydraulic cables here. So these will land right here. There's a hydraulic cable right there that goes up across and lands on that T right there. And then, yes, yeah, so the power cable, originally it was hooked up with a junction box, but we're going to bypass that. We'll take the cable straight into the pecker head on the motor, and then we'll land it in here. So let's start running those cables across. All right, so these cables, the one on this side goes all the way over, and this is the opposite side. So this one comes from the other side, drops down the back. I still need to clean under here, goes around the pulley, comes back up, and bolts on right there. Get that nice and tension. And then same thing on this side, comes down around the pulley. So we're gonna get, get those tightened down. My safety cable is not long enough, so I'm gonna have to go buy a longer safety cable. And then we're gonna start hooking up these hydraulic lines. All right, let's grab this hydraulic cable. We'll route it in those little channels all the way across the top. All right, we've got the new safety cable. So we're gonna remove the old one, run it up through there and reconnect it. And then we can put the hydraulic oil in there and bleed the hydraulics. And then we can start putting the arms on and see if it works. All right, we're gonna dump some hydraulic oil in here and then we're gonna bleed the lines. And then we're gonna raise it and lower it a few times and cycle this hydraulic oil. And then we'll put these lower arms on. All right guys, well we got the lift up. 
My dad just came up, helped me finish getting these arms on. Now you can see that these pads are pretty worn. So they make little replacement rubber pads. They're about 20 bucks. So I'm gonna order those. So those are nice and new. This one's actually completely missing the pad. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna wipe these down. They've gotten dirty from hydraulic fluid dumping all over in the shop. So I got a little bit of a mess to clean up there. But it turned out awesome. We lifted my Jeep on it. Everything works perfect. And I couldn't be happier with this lift. So we're gonna put it to good use. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.